Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of A Taste of the Food Life where I am continuing my food tasting journeys here on the show. Joining me for this episode, you guys know Susan, she's been around for quite a while. Executive producer, by the way. Uh, I like to remind folks of that because, you know, hey. But joining us on this very uh, special episode is a good friend of the show. You know him from the work that he and I do on the Spotfest Wrestling Podcast. And uh, we'll talk more about this later, but uh, George Alvarado, the heel, uh, is now going to be part of this project as well. So, George, welcome. Thank you. I'm here for food. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're happy to have you be part of the uh, Taste of the Food Life family. So thank you so much for joining us. We'll talk more later about what all we'll be doing. But uh, today, we are here to <coughs> basically do the most intriguing taste test, it, taste test yet. Uh, we're going to taste water. But not just any water. I'm not a fan of plain water myself. Yeah, and... Although I am, I will say that uh, I, I, I started becoming intrigued several years ago when people started, you know, making ways to flavor water. Because water is water. So what are y'all's thoughts on water? I don't like plain water. It has to have flavor or bubbles. Or both. Or both. <laughs> or both. I'm cool with both. As George takes a big swig from yeah, the Dasani. Yeah, as I'm drinking my Dasani water. Uh -huh. not, <laughs> no endorsement quite yet, but yes, I have to drink water. Yeah, and so are you? Are you okay with just basic water? As a kid, I drank a lot of Mangala water, which is out of the hose. So you that's know, special water. that special iron minted water. And as I grew up, I started drinking out of the faucet. And as an adult now, I'm drinking out of bottles of water. I'm, I'm sitting here because you said Mangala, and I was like, is that a brand? Like, oh, it's the hose. Yeah. The hose, yeah. But that implies that I didn't I didn't do that, because I did when I was a kid. Oh, I, 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 just, I can't stand water. I just, I don't like the flame water. It's boring by itself. Yeah. No. It has to be like icy, icy cold with ice chunks in it. Yeah. Then, well, you're in luck, because we're not going to have flame water here today. So. Yeah. so what we're doing today is we're going to be trying a few drink mixes that when you utilize them, give you the opportunity to not just have plain water but instead have flavored water. They are an HEB brand. We always say support local here. Uh, HEB being the local uh, San Antonio and of course Texas uh, grocery chain. And uh, yeah, we've got five different flavors. We have uh, peach tea, we have tropical punch, uh, fruit punch. We also have a uh, green tea, raspberry green tea. And lemonade and lemonade so we're gonna basically uh mix up a bottle split it amongst us and see what we think so where should we begin george as the guest of honor uh you can make our first choice i've been eyeing this green tea because i love green tea oh so yeah i think i'm gonna have to pick the raspberry green tea to start us off the really cool thing about these guys is that uh if you open it they are little individual packets that fit in one bottle of water so um, you can take these on the go. You can put them in your back pocket, your purse, if you carry one of those. Uh, if you're a purse carrying individual or fanny pack, if you want one of those, I'm um, if you know who does, but that's okay. You can I put them in my front pocket? You can, okay. um, if you really want to. What if I pin them to my shirt? You go for it. So that I don't lose them. I have a stash of little quick mixes inside of my work desk, so yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So this is not new to you. Oh, no, no, no. I've never been one to, to really drink a lot of water. Uh, and so these are not products that I myself have used often. Although I will uh, gladly uh, brew tea at home. And I have a lemonade mix that I then squirt into it and make tea lemonade. Are you like Tea lemonade. Okay. Yeah. But yes, <laughs> it's an all around. We call it tea lemonade at home. Okay. So raspberry green tea is the first of the five that we're going to try. So toast. And welcome, George. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I get the raspberry right, raspberry right away. Yeah. That is a unique flavor. I like raspberry. That's pretty good. Yeah, the green tea's coming through. It was a little weird at first, I'll admit. Um, so it does have only 10 calories uh, for this particular flavor. The other flavors have a little bit less. Um, it does only have two grams of carbs, uh, it's sweetened with um, aspartame, phenylalanine, if you're interested in that sort of thing. 
Uh, so it's got a good flavor, but you can't taste the artificial sweetener at all, which is fantastic. All right, we're going to move on to item number two. Susan? I'm just going in the order that they're there. This is lemonade. Excellent. This one also only has 10 calories. I'll leave the thing. Go ahead, keep talking about Lemonade stuff. is one of my favorite uh, drinks. Are you a fan of pink lemonade, George? I'm a fan of lemonade, and here's the thing, is I'm very picky about my lemonade. I will return the lemonade back at restaurants if it is not to my quality or standard. Wow. Um, what a diva. Yeah, I, and I and here's the thing, is I'm, when it comes to lemonade, I'm a big fan of very citrusy lemonade. So mm. I like my lemonade to actually have lemons. Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So we have our lemonade flavored drink mix. Ooh. Ooh. That wow. is tart. It is lemony lemonade. That's delicious. Yeah, yep. it meets your standards. Meets my standards. Um, a nice big glass of this after being out in the sun all day and cutting grass and raking the horses and other things people do out in the country, this would go... Is good. that what you have to do here at your apartment? No, 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 definitely oh, okay, not. Yeah. You know, the worst I got to do is clean up. Got it. Mm -hmm. Rinsing out my cup. And as far as I go, I'm not much of a fan of that. <laughs> but some people have better taste. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go from this side because I am a huge peach tea fan. You know this about me. I do. Peach tea is one of my absolute <clears throat> favorite um, beverages. I uh, am excited to see if this product stands up to my expectations of peach tea. So I didn't realize how much of a fan I was of peach tea until I tried one of Lipton's brands. And I think HEB has a peach tea also. I didn't realize how big of a fan it was. Cheddar's, the restaurant. Has a fantastic peach tea. <clears throat> I um, have to admit that I am not a fan of peach tea because a lot of times they use artificial peach flavor, and that is a no bueno for me. Like if they're using peach nectar to sweeten it or something, I'm okay with that. Peach tea, by the way, only has five calories as opposed to the ten for the previous two flavors. Well, then I want double. Okay. Not really. Not really. We're just tasting. We're just tasting. Okay. Why did Sergio get more than I did? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, thank you. All right, here we go. Bottoms up. They don't pay me enough for this. It's all right. I don't like it. It's not the best I've had. Yeah. I don't like it. I, I taste more of the brew from the tea than I do of the peach. Yeah, I agree. That's the thing that stands out to me. So. Oh darn, the peach tree is a bit of a peach tea is a bit of a bust. But hey, that's why we do this to try this stuff out. So peach tea, by the way, only has five calories as opposed to the ten for the previous two flavors. Well then I want double. Okay. Not really. Not really. We're just tasting. We're just tasting. Okay. Why well, did Sergio get more than I did? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. All right, here we go. Bottoms up. They don't pay me enough for this. It's all right. I don't like it. It's not the best I've had. Yeah. I don't like it. I, I taste more of the brew from the tea than I do of the peach. Yeah, I agree. That's the thing that stands out to me. So. Oh, darn. The peach tree is a bit of a peach tea is a bit of a bust. But hey, that's why we do this, to try this stuff out. So, uh, George, back to you. We are left with Fruit Punch or Tropical Punch. Which one would you like to do? We'll go with Fruit Punch for two, Jim. <clears throat> Thanks, George. <laughs> Done. Fruit Punch, ready to be tried. Cut, please. But I gotta say, is this a true real... Fruit punch if the powder doesn't leave your fingers red. Oh, it has left my fingers red. I can tell you because I spilled some of it and my arm is red. And there you go. <clears throat> okay. All the proof that's needed. Here we go. Mm. 
<laughs> I'm a kid again. Yeah. That's pretty good. It is. I was contemplating how I felt because there's sort of an aftertaste. I think this would even be good enough where if you have a little ice tray, pop some of this in there in the ice tray, make some little popsicles. Yeah. It reminds me of red Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of being outside on a hot summer day and you run inside and you ask your mom for some of the drinks. She pours you something like this and this is you. You're like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's the kind of thing it reminds me of. Okay. The last one we have is Tropical Punch. <laughs> I'm gonna get it mixing while he talks about it. <clears throat> you just, you just, you just totally whizzed right by my, my childhood memory. That was a long time ago, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we are left with Tropical Punch. What's the difference between Tropical and Fruit Punch? Um, it's more tropical. There <laughs> you go. Know. Obviously. Obviously. Exotic fruits? I don't know. Tropical Punch. Thank you, Susan, for mixing. It's you do that so well. the virtue of being in the middle. She's a mixologist. I am, actually. Mixologist being something else completely. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Thank you. Pour your own up. <laughs> Definitely more tropical. Yeah, I can um, taste the pineapple. I can taste the red. I was going to say, it's not even pineapple I'm tasting. That's, that's just red. <laughs> Something I noticed, though, between the, the fruit punch and the tropical punch is, um, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but the fruit punch is clear, see-through. Like, I can see through this red bottle. This one, not so much. It's a little, a little bit cloudier. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, that's, a, that's a bit much for me. That one's, like, really cloyingly sweet. I can't say I'm truly a fan. Yeah. There's so. a certain taste to it at the end that I'm yeah. like not quite fond of. It's no Hawaiian punch, that's for sure. Oh, that's true. Mm. Well put. So, George, of the five, what would you say would be your favorite one? The raspberry green tea. That's right. by far like my number one right there. Well, we are thankful that you are with us as uh, you join the uh, Taste of the Food Life family. And um, I have to say that my favorite was probably that one too. The other ones had uh, a little bit too much of a sweetness that I wasn't really prepared for. So Susan, what about you? Any favorites? I like the fruit punch because it reminds me of Red Coolie. Oh, that's sweet. Very sweet. Please uh, don't come after us Kool-Aid brand. So, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you both for being on the show as we did another tasting for all of you who are watching. We thank you for watching. And we ask, as always, that if you are here on YouTube, which would be the only place you could see our show, make sure you click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget, click that notification bell so you know when our episodes land because we'll have many episodes coming up. And don't forget, give us a like. Comment below. Do all that fun stuff. Follow us on social media, etc., etc. But more importantly, remember, you're awesome, you're amazing, and the world's a better place because you are in it. We'll see you next time on A Taste of the Food Life.